Now let's discuss the important problems related to laws of exponents. We are supposed to simplify this one and prove that if we simplify this, we are going to get the answer 1, right? So let's start with the RHS, LHS over here. So let's write here, that is LHS, right? So how we are going to approach? First of all, you can see in this term, x raised to a into bracket b minus a. So let's apply the distributive property first of all, right? So here we can write x raised to a b minus here a c done and in this we can write b a x raised to or let's write a b only and here b c minus b c done and division is over here so let's keep it division as it is and you have this power c outside so let's bring inside so double power means what we are going to multiply the power here x raised to b c and denominator x raised to a c x raised to a c done now see this is in division only right and these two are also in division so we are going to subtract their powers let's proceed with that one so here we can write x raised to a b minus a c minus in bracket here a b minus b c over here done and in this case x raised to b c minus a c done so let's simplify here we have the negative sign before the bracket so x raised to a b minus a c minus a b and here plus b c be careful why because there is a minus over here so we are supposed to change this sign a b becomes minus a b and minus b c becomes plus b c divide by x raised to let's keep it as it as it is b c minus a c now let's simplify further over here see a b and minus a b so that get cancelled so what's left over here let's write that is minus a c and plus b c divide by x raised to b c minus a c done now see we have the common base x and x they have the division sign between them so what we are going to do with that power we are going to subtract their powers so let's proceed with that step here let's write over here x raised to minus a c plus b c and minus we are going to write this power that is b c and minus a c over here then let's open the bracket minus a c plus b c here minus b c and this minus a c will become what plus a c c plus b c minus b c get cancelled minus a c and plus a c get cancelled so there's nothing right so what we can write x raised to 0 now anything raised to 0 is what 1 so we are done with the r h s right we wanted to prove that this value is 1 only so this is what we did now let's understand how we did over here remember this sum looks very complicated but you need to solve very patiently over here right a little mistake over here somewhere then you won't be able to get the answer so what we did first first we open this bracket in the power distributive property a b minus a c and b a minus b c same for this as well we multiply this two power x raised to b c x raised to a c then afterwards we can see this is in division only so we subtracted that power done and see when you have more than one term in the power try to put the bracket to avoid any kind of mistake because we are dealing with the negative here this term as well we subtracted the power here simplify then we have the case with the two same bases and different powers and division sign between them so division means what subtracting the power right we simplify further and we come to know x raised to 0 here don't write x raised to 1 right because all terms are being cancelled so it is zero right we are not talking about division or multiplication right we are talking about addition and subtraction so answer answer will be zero in that case so x raised to zero that is one anything raised to zero is one now let's discuss the next sum let's discuss one more question related to proving we need to show that this is if we simplify we get the answer as one so here also we are going to follow the same method see you have x raised to a plus b and here 2 as the power when you have multiple power what do we do 
we multiply them, right? So same we are going to do in the numerator. And denominator, if you observe, x raised to a, x raised to b, x raised to c, you have the same base and three powers. So we can add them. And afterwards it is four. So you will be having the case of the double power. We can multiply the powers, right? So let's start with the steps. So yes, let's write LHS here, I think, yes. LHS is equal to, let's start simplifying x raised to x raised to twice into a plus b why twice into a plus b because we have two powers so we multiply the power into x raised to twice into b plus c into x raised to twice into c plus a done and denominator see x is the base so we can add the power so x raised to a plus b plus c whole raised to 4 as the power. Now let's simplify further. How we are going to simplify further? In this case, we are going to use the distributive property and denominator we can multiply the power. So let's move ahead. Here x raised to 2a plus 2b into x raised to 2b plus 2c into x raised to 2c plus 2a and the denominator we can write x raised to 4 into a plus b plus c done now see numerator denominator what we did we had the same base and different powers same we are having the case in numerator same base x x x and we have the different power so we are going to add the power in that case so let's proceed here x raised to c 2a plus 2b plus here 2b plus 2c plus 2c plus 2a done and denominator let's open the bracket x raised to 4a plus 4b plus 4c done very simple now observe over here that 2a and 2a that is going to make what x raised to 4a let's write x raised to 4a and here 2b and 2b as well so that is 4b plus here we have 2c and one more 2c 2 and 2 that is 4c done and denominator here x raised to 4a plus 4b plus 4c now see you have the numerator and denominator equal right so if we cancel them we are going to get what answer one very simple or you can do in this way as well as they are in division you can subtract the power right another way still if you are confused that how did i do cancellation you can think something like that x raised to c 4a plus 4b plus 4c minus 4a plus 4b plus 4c right and here x raised to 4a plus 4b plus 4c minus 4a minus 4b minus 4c all of them will get cancelled right it will be x raised to 0 so answer will be 1 both ways are correct we are not doing any mistake anywhere it's correct only so it depends how you approach it so let's see how we discuss this question so first of all, you see the multiple powers, two power in our case. So multiply the power, that is two into a plus b, two into b plus c, two into c plus a. That being done, observe the denominator as well. We have the same base and three different power. So add the power. That being done, here apply the distributive property and denominator, we are seeing the multiple powers. So we can uh, multiply, multiply the powers over here. So simplify the numerator because same basis, at the power and denominator distributive property so here at some point we get numerator and denominators are equal so we can do cancellation and get one or if you want to use the property you can subtract the power and get x raised to zero and anything raised to zero is what answer one let's do one more problem we need to prove that value of this is what one we need to simplify it basically like we were doing so far so let's start with the lhs only that it's right LHS here so 
you can see x raised to a divided by x raised to b is there. So when we see two powers like this, we have the same base, we can consider as direct division. So we are going to subtract that power. So we can write x raised to a minus b and whole raised to 1 upon a b. This outer power is still n as it is into x raised to b minus c whole raised to 1 upon b c into x and x raised to here I believe c will be there yes c. So c minus a and whole raised to 1 upon c a that being done right. Now what we are going to do multiply this power because we have the case of the multiple power. So let's do over here x raised to we can write a minus b over a b into x raised to b minus c over b c into x raised to c minus a over c a. Done. Now we have the same base. So what we are going to do with the power? Add the power. So let's add the power. So here we can write x raised to let's add the power a minus b by a b plus b minus c by b c plus c minus a by c a. Now what to do in this case, right? So we have the fraction form. So when we want to simplify fraction, we do what? Take the LCM. C, A, B, B, C and C, A. So in this case, LCM will be what? A, B and C, right? So what is missing over here? C is missing. What is missing over here? A and in this case, B is missing, right? So let's multiply here X raised to C into A. That is C, A, C into B minus B, C plus here a b minus c a you can write and here b into c that is plus b c and b into a minus a b right and denominator what will be that lcm remember what was the lcm i told you that is a b c so a b and c now let's see can we do cancellation or not in this case remember we can always do cancellation one is there means x raised to zero should be there that's the logic behind the sum, right? So CA minus CA and plus CA get cancelled, then minus BC and plus BC plus AB and minus AB. Done? So that is zero in the numerator, right? So what we can write here is equal to X raised to zero by ABC. So basically we can write X raised to zero. Now anything raised to zero is what? One that is R R H S. This is what we wanted to prove. Simple, right? So first three, four steps are very important. Afterwards, you're going to get zero only in the power. Remember, and anything raised to zero is one only, right? So let's see how we approach this question. First of all, x raised to a by x raised to b. Numerator and denominator, we can consider division. So subtract their power for all three cases. That being done, we have the two powers. So multiply. Now remember, this is, there is no denominator over a minus b. So we'll consider there is it as the numerator and 1 upon a b as the denominator for all three of them. Same basis, so add the power, addition is done. Now fraction, so you need to take the LCM. Remember a, b and c is the LCM. What is missing? Just multiply with that, right? So c is missing, multiply with c. a is missing, multiply with that. b is missing, multiply with them. Then afterwards, be careful with the sign. If you do mistake in the sign, you will, you will not be having the terms which is being cancelled out. Right, so cancel all the things. Now x is to zero by abc. Anything is to zero is what one. So this is how we prove that value of this expression is one. Let's discuss one more question. If we have this condition, then prove that m minus n is equal to two. We need to prove the condition m minus n, or basically you can think that we need to get the relation between m and n. Right. So let's start over here. We have here 9 raised to n plus 1 into 3 raised to minus n by 2 raised to minus 2 minus 27 raised to n, right? So we have subtraction as well. We have product as well. So in this kind of thing, remember always to try to have the same base. That's the most convenient thing to do, right? So 9 we can express as 3 raised to 2. Very good. 27 we can express as 3 raised to 3. It is a cube of 3, 27. And here 3 is there. Here 2 is somewhere. We'll deal with that as well eventually. And 729, that is the cube of 9 basically. 
right so this we can write 3 raised to 6 if you want to factorize and check it go ahead with that now 9 raised to n plus 1 let's start with that part so we can write 3 raised to 2 whole raised to n plus 1 and here product 3 raised to here we are having double power so let's deal with that and here minus 2 2 and 2 will get cancelled minus minus plus minus 27 raised to n so we can write 3 raised to 3 and whole raised to n here let's get this give this power to individual term 3 raised to 3m multiply by 2 raised to 3 and here we can write 1 by 3 raised to 6 then so we can see many 3 over here now it starts to just simplify them here 2 let's simplify further here 3 raised to 2n plus 2 into 3 raised to n minus 3 raised to 3n and denominator as it is that is 3 raised to 3m into 2 raised to 3 that is 8 is equal to 1 by 3 raised to 6 then now see this 3 and this 3 in the product so we can add the power so let's do with that 3 raised to 2n plus 2 plus n and minus 3 raised to 3n over here we have 3 raised to 3m and multiply by 8 is equal to 1 by 3 raised to 6 done now 2n and n that is what 3 raised to 3n plus 2 minus 3 raised to 3n over 3 raised to 3m into 8 is equal to let's take the, this in numerator 3 raised to minus 6 now see 3 raised to 3n and 3 raised to 3n we can take common so 3 raised to 3n and here what's left 3 raised to 2 minus 1 over 3 raised to 3m multiply by 8 is equal to 3 raised to minus 6 done now 3 raised to 2 that is what 9 and 9 minus 1 is what 8 so 3 raised to 3n multiply by 8 over 3 raised to 3m multiply by 8 as well is equal to 3 raised to minus 6 see 8 and 8 get cancelled that's why i was writing 8 over here then now so what are we left with 3 raised to 3n over 3 raised to 3m is equal to 3 raised to minus 6 they are in numerator and denominator we consider as the division so 3 raised to 3n minus 3m is equal to 3 raised to minus 6 so let's compare the power 3n minus 3m is equal to minus 6 please mention here that compare the compare the power done now see 3 3 and 6 we can divide with the 3 over here that can work out so n minus m is equal to minus 2 but what do we want m minus n is equal to 2 let's change everybody's sign this positive so minus n minus m plus m and here plus 2 so let's arrange m minus n is equal to 2 simple right but you need to make sure that you do the steps properly that's the most important part of the sum so what we did over here that 9 we converted 3 raised to 2 27 3 raised to 3 right they are in product so we can simplify them here double power so multiply the power we get 3 raised to n now they are in product so we can add the power because they are having the same base that being done see we can take 3 raised to 3 and common now when you take the common remember don't just write 2 and 1 over here that is 3 raised to 2 minus 1 now 3 raised to 2 is what 9 9 minus 1 is what 8 so we can write 8 over here and 8 and 8 would get cancelled right so we can see 3 raised to 3 and then 3 raised to m over here right 3 raised to 3m right we can subtract the power then compare the power and simplify and get the answer so this is how we prove the given result now let's discuss what we learn in this chapter first of all we learn about the basic idea of the number system right we already know about whole numbers and natural numbers integers and rational numbers we discuss few questions based on rational numbers 
Afterwards, more, most importantly, we learn about the irrational numbers, right? And we learn how to identify the rational, ir irrational numbers. Then we did operations on it, simplification, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Afterwards, we discuss about the rationalizing the denominator of the irrational numbers, right? That being done, afterwards, we discuss about the laws of exponent and we discuss few questions based on the laws of exponent and we prove some results as well. So this was the chapter number system. Now let's discuss what we learn in this chapter. So first we learn about the different number system that is natural number, whole number, integers and rational number. We discuss few sums based on the rational numbers and representation of rational numbers on the number line. Afterwards we learn about the irrational numbers. What are the irrational numbers and real numbers? Then we learn representation of irrational numbers on the number line. And finally, few operations based on that addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Afterwards, we learn about the rationalizing the denominator of this rational, irrational numbers. So we did extension problems of that as well. Afterwards, we learn about the laws of exponents, right? How to deal with the sums. And we discuss few more questions. Then we learn the how to prove some results with the help of laws of exponents as well. So this was the first chapter, number systems.